Hi friends, to fine tune any LLMs, we need the data to be in very specific formats. For example, question 9 answer pairs or multi turn conversations. But our knowledge bases are often in the form of documents, which could be PDFs, Word documents, PPTs, HTML files, etc. So, with this tool called Augment Toolkit, we can turn our knowledge base into data sets for fine tuning large language models. All right. So the way it works is we start with our knowledge base, which is the source text. First, it split the documents into these sentences and then group them into the paragraphs. And then it uses LLMs to create question answer pairs as well as these multi turn conversations. So with the LLM, we will find out if the paragraph contain any useful information. If it does not, we discard it. If it contains, then we try to generate four question and, question and answer pairs. Okay. Now we know LLMs hallucinate. So we have to make sure the questions are relevant to the paragraph and also the answers are actually grounded in the paragraph or context, right? Which is what we do here. So we check if the question is relevant to the paragraph. Again, if it is not, then we discard or delete that question. If it does, then we check if the answer is relevant to the para and uh, then we check if the answer is correct uh, or grounded uh, based on the paragraph. Okay. If it is, then we have generated our set of uh, question answer pairs. Okay. We can do this process uh, to generate or turn these question answer pairs into multi term conversations. Okay. Uh, that's the a workflow okay so in order to use this tool uh, it's super simple uh, just download the repo uh, this is how it looks like and then open the config file so here are the llms the paths uh, and the prompts uh, etc has been set uh, uh, so i try to run this tool with Olama and Lama 3 LLM. Uh, so uh, with these uh, variables, uh, but it is running into some errors. So I uh, ran it with uh, together uh, APIs uh, as suggested uh, in the repo. All right. So you just take the API key uh, and then uh, you can uh, leave the rest as it is. Okay. So you only need to set uh, the API key. I'm going to invoke this uh, API key after this video. All right. So the input is going to be uh, in this folder, raw text input, the output is going to created uh, here. And also we have these default prompts. Uh, we are going to see in a second, uh, there will, there are a number of prompts uh, to do the tasks uh, we just saw. Okay. All right. And here uh, in my raw input folder, uh, I copied a document. Uh, this is one of Paul Graham essays. All right. And then you simply run after installing the requirement file, you simply run uh, this processing script. Okay. Now I already ran it. Uh, and here is the output. Now it's going to make a number of calls uh, to the LLM as we saw in the workflow. Um, yeah. As we saw in the workflow, it is doing a number of things, right? Uh, like uh, checking if the paragraph is useful, generating four questions, answers, then checking if the question uh, is based uh, on the paragraph, answer is based on the paragraph, uh, and if uh, if they are relevant to the paragraph, th things like that, right? So it's going to make a number of calls uh, to those LLMs. So you might hit uh, rate limits. Uh, so be mindful of that. All right. So the output looks like this. Uh, again, there are lots of files uh, with the intermediate uh, output. Uh, but the important ones are going to be these two files. Okay, simplified data, no rag JSON L and simplified data, rag JSON L. And also, uh, this one will also be useful, which is this pre training dot JSON. Now, if you look at the prompts folder, 
these are the default prompts uh, as you can see there are many uh, prompts uh, for example here you can see check the answer if it is grounded uh, in the uh, uh, in the text or the context now check the answer relevancy uh, so and so forth so you can have a look at them all right so here i took the output generated and because it is a JSONL file, I took one of the examples and pasted in this formatter. This is how it looks like. Okay, so this is an example of multi-turn uh, conversation. So here we have a system, the role, uh, the system prompt. Uh, this is a similar. Uh, uh, this is in alignment with OpenAI multi-turn conversation, right? So where we have three roles, right? The system, the user, and the assistant, and each one has their uh, own content. So here uh, the you the role is from the content is value okay all right so the system the system content and then the conversation is begin by the human or the user and the user said hey I have been thinking about something so and so forth and then GPT this is the assistant right so the assistant gave a response then human followed up uh, it with or the user so you can see this uh, multi uh, turn conversation. All right, uh, what else? Um, so there is a lot of documentation uh, uh, as you can see from the uh, from here and you can also set uh, a number of uh, configuration parameters uh, in this config.yaml. All right, so have a look at them. Now you might not use this tool as it is, but uh, this is a great tool. Uh, you can draw inspiration from it. You can go through uh, uh, the prompts you can design your own uh, workflow so that you can generate the questions in the form of QA or uh, multi-ton uh, conversations. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.